welcome everyone to this topic on continuous integration delivery and deployment so this topic by simply learn is going to explain you that what exactly is all about the continuous integration process continuous deployment and continuous delivery so let's talk about these concepts one by one so continuous integration is a kind of a process which is which comes up in the first part right so first the continuous integrations comes into the picture then the continuous delivery and the deployment comes into the part so the main important component or the main uh, task which we primarily perform in the continuous integration is all about the build automations test executions and merging in various branches so it's nothing but the integration of the source code from the each and individual developers machines to a shared location which we often call it as an kind of a version control system so continuous integration is integrating the source code into the shared repositories and then depending on the order triggers once the changes are checked in into the version control system the automated build test cases all these executions can really happen now in the build process and the test cases automation it's going to validate that how the source code is really working uh, how the compilation is going on how the test cases are getting executed so all these things are getting validated during the execution of these things now once the continuous integration is successful we can not assure give a hundred percent surety that the code base is working fine because it's just taking care of the compilation and the test cases there could be a possibility that some kind of errors may also come up into the production environment because those test cases or those scenarios are not being covered in the test cases so test cases are very important aspect over here because it's giving us the authority whether we need to proceed further or we need to halt there itself so after the continuous integration the next process which comes into the picture is the automatic release to the repository over here right so it's just a kind of a mechanism where we will be releasing the source code to the uh, artifacts we are uploading the artifacts to the particular component so that kind of uh, automation is available but that is also happening when we are saying that yes the test cases execution is successful and we have to proceed further and at the end it's nothing but the automated deployment to the production environment which we call it as a kind of continuous deployment over here so these are the overall process which we are looking forward so that we will be able to have an end-to-end -end automations going on over here with the help of CI CD automations now continuous integrations again the build test merge these are the different options which we do so continuous integration is a kind of a process a kind of a development process which is being used by most of the development teams nowadays that eventually enables the developers to merge their source code uh, whatever the changes or whatever the modifications they are doing they can a uh, particular uh, you know like merge their source code from their local systems to the central repository so that after that with the help of CI tools, we can actually have the build automations and the test cases automation there. So this is the reason why we prefer the continuous integration process because it depends on the basis of our modifications that how the whole build and test cases automations can really happen here. Now, continuous integration is considered as a very important process because of the various reasons. Let's talk about those reasons one by one. The very first one is that it avoids the merge conflicts because if we frequently uh, sync back our source code from our systems to the shared repository and the same thing can be done by other developers also so eventually it definitely helps the uh, different developers to collaborate their source code into a single uh, shared repository and that can really help you to avoid the merge conflict situations because you are always going to work on the latest source code so uh, the scope of merge conflicts is not going to be there it also helps us to decrease the need of the code review because uh, we are just doing the uh, collaboration frequently so uh, we don't require any person to be sitting there and you know have uh, to perform a kind of a heavy duty uh, code review because uh, that is something which we can easily manage and we can work with that so code review uh, is something which we can easily decrease with the help of this continuous integration process uh, it also speeds up the development process yes definitely because uh, the developers can easily collaborate with each other so from collaboration perspective also it's beneficial for us to do and that can really help us to see that how easily we can integrate our source code and that differs or that basically helps us to go for the overall mechanism and you know going for a perfect automation process over here 
so it also increases the overall development process which needs to be implemented during the ci process next it uh, also reduces the product backlog because we are doing our changes frequently into the repositories so uh, any kind of product backlog which is there which is pending from long that is also can be managed easily because it's keep on you know reduced there so we keep, we keep on implementing our changes we keep on implementing uh, merging our sh uh, particular changes to the shared repository so that reduces the amount of backlog which is available now next thing is the continuous delivery which is an automatic release to the repositories here so what exactly is in continuous delivery all about so continuous delivery is a kind of a practice that refers to the particular uh, building testing delivering improvements to the software code so the important part of continuous delivery is that the code is always in the deployable state so we are saying that we are done with the delivery we are ready with the delivery and whichever environment whichever um, particular server you want us to deploy we are ready to do that so that is where we call it as in continuous delivery so we have our artifacts ready and whenever it is desired whenever we feel that we want to do the deployments we want to proceed further we will be able to do that with the help of this process so it's in kind of an end-to-end -end process uh, you do the builds you do the test cases executions once the test case execution is done once the testing is done then you create an artifacts you create a particular var files jar files er files whatever the artifacts we have we prepare that artifacts and then we deliver it to a specific environment we say that yes let's go with the delivery let's make it into a particular state where we will be able to deploy to pretty much any environment which we feel as such over here so that's a real beauty about the continuous delivery where we can actually deliver it to whatever environment we feel we want to deliver now Continuous delivery is uh, also something which is a very important concept for most of the organizations. So uh, each and every organizations are actually looking forward to invest in this one for a variety of reasons because uh, it's something where we can invest uh, some of our particular efforts, budget, money, a lot of things are there. But the kind of benefits which we get in the return, that's what we are going to talk about over here as such. So let's go with that. So it provides the higher quality of products yes the efforts are there yes the investment is also there but in the return the prime the very important concept or very important thing which we get is the high quality of products here so the kind of quality which we are getting with this one is quite high and that's the biggest benefit which we get when we talk about any kind of continuous integration continuous delivery or continuous deployment here so the quality is always top notch when we work off these particular processes it also helps us to go for a quicker and less risky releases so that's another benefit which we get this process customers are also satisfied because they feel that yes we are going with this uh, particular automated process um, within you know few days we are getting the deliveries uh, we don't have to wait for months for getting our deliveries so that's the biggest benefit which a customer usually gets when he talks about the continuous delivery and it's more efficiency is there and the cost of fitness of the team also so from the cost and from the uh, particular uh, efficiency all those parameters are fully fulfilled when we talk about the continuous delivery so this process delivers a lot of benefits which can eventually help us to go for a perfect high quality product which we can develop as such over here now the next thing is the continuous deployment which is an automatic deployment to the production environment so let's see that what exactly is in continuous deployment all about here so continuous deployment uh, refers to the final stage in the pipeline so which means that the we are not only preparing our artifacts we are not only doing the uh, particular uh, compilations or test cases executions we are actually going one step ahead and this one step ahead is nothing but the deployment to the production environment so this is what we are typically doing when we talk about the continuous uh, deployment over here that we are going to one step ahead and that's where we are going for the deployment of our particular artifact so we are deploying to the production environment so that our changes whatever the changes we are trying to do we are trying to make that should be deployed to the production environment right now so Continuous deployment again is can be deployed to uh, hire whatever the organizations want to feel or want to deploy they can actually go with that and there are a lot of benefits actually which we get when we talk about the continuous deployment. So let's see about all these particular deployments one by one. So first of all the faster development of the products is there. 
so we are looking forward that when we are going for the automations when we are going for this deployment so it we get a kind of a faster uh, you know development process which is there so the products are getting developed very quickly very fast that's the biggest benefit which you are getting when we talk about this continuous deployment here and it's less risky releases also there and it's easy to fix problems whatever the automations we are feeling we are trying to perform that can definitely help us to go that how we can automate and how we can go for these uh, particular releases over here so these uh, releases are very less risky because we are doing all the things automated there is not much of a scope which is there for the manual errors so usually manual errors is something which is the biggest error uh, problem or which is the biggest risk when we go for any release but that is something which is totally removed with this automation here now it also helps in continuous improvement in the quality so continuously improve uh, quality is also getting improved as such here now let's talk about that why exactly as and we talk about at the industry level in the market level also that the CICD is one of the best practices now what is the reason behind that why those are known as the best development and DevOps practices as such now continuous integration and continuous delivery are the best practices as they create an effective process the kind of integration and delivering the source code these are the prime things which we need to take care when we talk about the development uh, teams over here so they want an automated process first of all and they also want a streamlined process which can you know take up the things uh, which should not fail it should be a fail safe process mechanism through which they can release various kind of changes to the production environment because ultimately they are looking forward for the deployment of their changes to the production environment so how they are going to do that that is where the ci cd or the continuous integration and continuous delivery helps on that part and that's the reason why they can help the teams the development teams to go for an effective process implementations when we go for these implementations of these two practices small core changes can be easily made in the software code so you don't require much of the efforts if you are going for even small changes in the source code that can also be effectively deployed to a production environment in a simple straightforward and easy mechanism the changes can go from the developer machines to the production environment that's the biggest benefit which we get due to which we feel that yes these two processes should be implemented into a devops platform right so ci and cd provides continuous feedback from the customers and also from the development teams the devops teams so the increase of transparency is also something which is important which is implemented with these processes here so the process enables faster release of the product so we don't have to wait for months to release the source code there within a couple of hours within a couple of days we can actually release it to the production environment provided we do all these steps like build compilations testing development uh, validation all these things will be done in that duration of time so the failures can be easily detected faster and uh, we can easily find out that what is the problem with the code base what is the problem with the changes and we can even do the hot fixes now hot fixes these kind of uh, ad hoc changes are also can be easily deployed to the production environment within just a couple of hours there so that was a complete summary on what exactly is CACD and the prime important concept which we have uh, got a proper understanding is that why these two processes are really important for our development process and the only benefit which we are getting the prime benefit which we are getting from these processes implementation is that we get a effective build process effective test cases automation or process and a automated deployment process and these processes when we combine that is something which we can use to deliver our source code our features to the production environment and eventually to the end user so that's how the CICD automations really works into a DevOps environment so that's it for this topic thanks hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here